Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Signalis. Last time we left off, we were over here in an area called Nowhere. I saw that on the, uh, on the, like, when I, when I chose my save file, it just says Nowhere. So that probably explains why we don't have a map for, uh, this particular location. So, um, a few things. Uh, people in the comments, someone reminded me, yeah, I can, I can turn the flashlight on and off with C. That's how I use my stun prods, and the flashlight is equipped in the same slot, so um, that makes sense. I just had been going... I, I, I went into the menu to do it once, and then I just started doing that out of habit. Um, and the other thing, something interesting in the manual here. Um, the shooting system is how I expected. This just makes it more accurate. It doesn't make it do more damage, but it does make it more precise. If you wait until the, uh, the square kind of fills in here. So that's uh, interesting to note as well. So, with that, uh, we have a few things. Uh, I know I left some stuff in the environment and all that. So I should probably run around and pick these um, things up really quickly. Hopefully I don't get clipped by enemies on the way. And we have a, we have a few different items we can interact with as well. Um, let's go up here. So, uh, there was this stuff up here. Yeah, and I think that was the only door, but these are doors too, right? That's why there's light coming from them. Oh, but that one's locked. Yeah, I don't think I checked these doors. Here's another repair patch. Give. Thank you. And yeah, that one's opens from the other side. This. Okay. And yeah, this is a new room. So... We got, like, hexagons chilling on the, uh, screen here. We got the repair spray. Yeah. Okay, and... No space to carry wedding ring. Ooh. Okay, well, that's an important item. Let's go ahead and go back, then. Oh. Oh, I can drop down there. Oh, I didn't notice that last time. I must have... I must have been accidentally like walk. Yeah, I was like walking like this around the thing, but you have to look straight at it to get the drop down prompts. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I want to jump into the giant pulsating cosmic horror butthole, but um, I'll 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 consider it, Signalis. I'll I'll think about it. I'll give you that. All right, let's put some of this garbage away. Rifle ammo can go. All right, looking good there. Could refresh my save. Let's hold the phone though. I think I've explored like most of the um, other places. I think I maybe left like a stun prod or something down on the previous floor. But I don't remember really leaving anything else. I'm sure there's more stuff sitting back there though. That ring is hard to see there. Okay, so wedding ring. Old golden ring. The phrase till death do us part is inscribed on the inside of the ring. Yeah. It looks like it's in... German? Looks like it's in German. It's... Yeah. I think it's in German. Okay. Wedding ring till death do us part. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to get from that. So what's going on here? Another one of these keypad things. Strange device under the microphone bell, it's hooked up to the microphone. Uh... Old-fashioned microphone. Okay, so I need a, a frequency to go to for this. Uh, in my frequency list, there wasn't a, um... Like, pentagon frequency, was there? Moon, sun, scales, rook, tree, sword. No. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, that's all we got out of this room, I suppose. Uh, the, the the nasty the nasty pulsating hole. Um, oop, hello. What's gonna be in the nasty pulsating hole? Uh, don't know. Store the wedding ring here. I mean, all the other ones we jumped down into, um. Wasn't anything bad. It does feel like we're a little overdue for a boss fight. Though. Hmm. It does feel like we're a little overdue for a boss fight. Maybe... 
Maybe I bring just a little something something with me. Maybe. Uh, let's look at bring the shotgun. Ooh, we could try out the flare gun. Um, hmm. Like, I don't know if I'll fill up my inventory with things. Maybe I will. Ah, uh, but see... You know, nah. I could save scum it and just jump down, see what's in there, and then revert my save accordingly, but... That'd be boring. Let's just, uh... Yeah, let's just grab a few things. So I have the pistol, I have a repair spray. Maybe grab two repair sprays. Um... Pistol, shotgun, doll... I'll keep the doll on me for now, and then... I am kind of interested in the flare gun. <laughs> so, let's let's bring the flare gun. Okay, I'm all decked out preparing for a boss fight here. I don't know, this hole just seems way more ominous... ...than, um... ...the previous ones that we've run into. The other ones were kind of just drops. This is... ...giant pulsating hole. Giant flesh hole, so I feel like there's gonna be bad things down there. So, let's get a new save started. And see what we got here. I have my flare gun at the ready. Uh, I'm going to dodge you with your giant Michael Myers kitchen knife. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, giant hole. What's happening? There's a gaping hole in the pulsing flesh. Drop down. Yeah, this feels like I'm gonna fight some giant Resident Evil monster down here. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god. You're similar to... Yeah, eat it, nerd. Uh, you're on the ground. Already, Flare Gun did that? Do I... Oh, okay, I, w I was gonna kick you, but... Don't think that's possible. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe I should... That's all of my shotgun ammo. I didn't bring more ammo, actually. Maybe I should've. I had one flare gun shot... The shotgun shots with my pistol. I brought too many weapons. Um... This might not be good. Running out of ammo. I should have brought more. They're tanky. This reminds me of an enemy from Silent Hill 2. Ow. Okay. You're like blinking? Are you almost dead? Oh my god, you like charge. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, well that looks like a death. Yeah, we're done so. Okay, um yeah, I mean the flare gun, I should have I should have brought more ammo. I didn't prepare enough. If only we had a knife, I could just try to- <laughs> I could just try to win it with the knife. But, uh, unless you have like- Oh! You're helping me! Shoot it! Oh, yes! Oh, I brought just enough ammo! Isa, no... Huh. Are you okay? Or are you like proper dead? I can't... The rifle Issa was carrying. It's chambered in some sort of ridiculous anti-armor cartridge. No wonder the recoil knocked her out. Okay, so she's just knocked out. Okay, I brought just enough ammo. I just had to get the thing off of Issa long enough for Issa to recover and then shoot it. Okay. Can I have that rifle? I have ammo for it. Okay. She won't wake up. Okay. Yeah, she won't wake up. Alright, well, look at me! I brought just enough ammo! <laughs> the perfect amount, actually! <laughs> wow, when I, was, when I ran out of that pistol ammo, I was like, I'm boned, and I was walking up to the boss to try and just get myself killed so I could retry. And then I saw Issa getting up, and I was like, wait, hold the phone! <laughs> Alrighty, well then. That was, uh, fortuitous. Not often things go, uh, that much my way. I mean, I could have taken less damage, but... Cool. Alrighty, give me my pistol ammo. 
And to my uh, last shots here. The old pistol. Hmm, yeah, I wonder if it is just a time thing. Like, maybe I didn't even need to throw all that ammo into the boss. Maybe it could have just distracted the boss long enough for Iza to shoot it. That enemy in particular, um, reminds me of a few things. Uh, it reminds me of the, um, what are they called? Um, Abstract Daddy in Silent Hill 2. Um... Just because of, like, the the way it walks and things. It also reminds me of an enemy from Dark Souls 3. It's like these bodies in a cage. And that's kind of what that looks like. There was also another enemy in, um, I think Silent Hill 2 that looks kind of similar. It's like a body in a cage that walks around like that. But this game definitely has a lot of inspiration for Silent Hill 2. And I think it's doing a fantastic job at being inspired by Silent Hill 2. The creature designs are on point. Um, the horror and everything is very on point. It's definitely like, I feel like for Silent Hill fans in particular, with especially with, you know, how unfortunate the Silent Hill series is these days. Um, of course, they are talking about a remake for Silent Hill 2, but it's being made by um, that uh, company a lot of people don't like. Um, um, but this is kind of like a new Silent Hill 2 for people or a new Silent Hill, like the early Silent Hill games, the original three. Um, this is like a new game for the, those people in particular. I would definitely say it leans more towards Silent Hill than um, Resident Evil with like the very interesting kind of psychological horror and things that we have going on here. Ooh, more thermite. I've been wondering when we would get more thermite. So is this a new safe room? Because uh, I don't think this looks like the ones I was at before. Or am I crazy? Okay, yeah, there's this. That's different. So, yeah, is this a new safe room? Before we were in the classroom, now we're in... Let me, uh, let me hit the save again. Now we're within. Oh, yeah. You'll regret this later, will I? Okay. We'll, we'll see about that video game. Okay, so... Can't really see anything else. I really wish I could take your rifle. That thing seems amazing. It's especially, since it said it's like anti-armor, um, it's especially going to be needed if I run into some of those star things. Okay, yeah, and this is just the room we were in. Ooh, I don't like that you probably won't stay down. You know what? You know what? <laughs> they gave me thermite in this room. Uh... And that thing's kind of wiggling and stuff. Uh, I don't like that. So... Uh, no, don't. Just, just use it. Can't use this here? Can't use this here? Is this not one that needs to be thermited? I'm sorry, it was- it's like doing the thing. So I'm like... No use. Okay. Okay, I just want to be sure, because this is right before my save room, so I was like, if I can thermite that body, I was thinking for a second, I was like, this is totally why they gave me the thermite here, right? But no. Uh, oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, my health is very low. Uh, I should use one of these. Yeah. It gets me up to yellow. But it's a good yellow. So, we'll put you away for now. <sighs> Stupid doll I keep carrying with me. Thinking that it'll become useful. And I'll be able to put something inside it. It mentioned, um, the thing mentioned, like, light and incense and stuff. You know what, let's just put the damn thing away. I've carried it on me this long, and it's not been useful yet. It mentioned offering, um, the dead. So I don't know if I need to put, like, dead potty parts in it, but it also mentioned, like, light and incense. I can't believe I couldn't thermite that, because it is wiggling. It is wiggling. So, is there a way to... get out of here, go anywhere? Really? Doesn't actually seem to be. Yeah, there's like nowhere here. Uh, problem? Did I miss something in here? Uh, was this a door? This was a door, yeah, that's right. 
Okay, so we go the. Uh uh. I don't like the creepy droopy head. Oh, I don't like the ke the creepy droopy head at all. Oh, and it doesn't have arms. Oh, what's going on with you, friend? Can I have this? Thank you. Uh, I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use that. Uh... Ooh, yeah, I don't like you. I don't like you one bit. Yike. Uh, this one is guarding the door. Which is also very not nice. Do you have eyes, or do you just rely on sound? Like, I wonder. Yeah? Oh god, it sees me. Uh-huh, gimme. Thank you very much. Okay, it tried to charge me. I mean, we made it around. We successfully circumvented them. Uh-huh. Let's re-equip my flashlight here. Signal flare shells, I'll take it. Okay, okay. And this is gonna take me back up, yeah? To some place. Hairspray Plus. Yeah, so where is this? This is probably one of the doors that open from, from one side, yeah? Let's look around in here and make sure I'm not missing anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Yep, unlocks from the other side. Okay, so... Ah, we're here! Okay, yeah, I remember this room. Okay. Yeah, 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 we're here. Cool. Now the problem becomes... What do I actually do now? So... I kind of want to go back to that other save point I have. Um, I'm hoping there's not something important I'm missing out. Here's this, uh... Prod that I can pick up now. Are you dorks gonna get back up? Are you gonna stay down? Okay. Yeah, and then we go down here. This... Yeah, where does this go? Oh, this was locked before. I'm pretty sure this was locked before, wasn't it? I thought I tried this door. No space to carry small bottle. And... The Dreamer. Uh-oh. A prison from which the only escape is death. Deep below, the Dreamer floats in the sea of flesh. The Red Eye birthing a new world from their dream for eternity, and each time the Dreamer turns over in their sleep. The world turns over too, until only flesh remains. The Dreamer. Is this this character with white hair that we keep hearing about? Only escape is death. Deep below, the dreamer floats in the sea of flesh, the red eye birthing a new world from their dream for eternity. So they're dreaming up a horrible world, and this Sauron's eye makes their world a reality. And each time the dreamer turns over, the world turns over too, until only flesh remains. And is this where your body used to be or something? The dreamer. Yeah, someone that's... someone whose dreams come... To reality. That makes me think of like, um, well, a few things. Uh, but the thing I think of uh, immediately is um, Alan Wake. Um, the whole story with that game, if you're familiar with that game. Uh, I won't go into details of it because that, 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 there's actually a sequel for that one coming out, so I don't want to spoil anything for that. But if you know about Alan Wake, it's a similar kind of thing. Um, Alrighty, so we put a bunch of stun things in here. We have a ton of ammo. Uh, still have this plate of eternity. Ooh, wait. I wonder if this. Yeah, that room with all the hexagons, would this have something to do with that? Maybe not. Um, Alright, so we're good there. Okay, so let's go back to that room and get that thing. Because I swear that door was locked before. I swear this door was locked. Um, it, it was like one of the ones that said, like, opens from the other side or something. I guess defeating that boss did something here. Small bottle, but maybe, maybe I did just miss it. These doors are hard to see sometimes. Okay, so small bottle. Small bottle filled with a clear liquid. 
The contents smell sharply of ammonia. Probably some sort of smelling salts. An inhalant sometimes used to restore consciousness and mental alertness. Oh, can we wake the dreamer with this? Ooh, we might be able to wake the dreamer with this and, like, end the nightmare. Hmm. That's an interesting idea. So, I mean, I can't use it here. There's, like, clearly an imprint of a, uh, imprint of a body here, but I can't use that here, right? That feels like an item um, similar to the red liquid in Silent Hill 1. Um, possibly? Like, maybe I'll have a boss fight against something, and if I walk up to the Dreamer and use that to wake them up, maybe I can end the boss fight prematurely or something? Possibly get a different ending or something like that? I don't know, but that's cool. I'm pretty sure that door was locked before. So... Well, now I'm gonna always want this in my inventory. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry it around with me constantly, because that... Like, come on, that seems crazy important, right? That seems crazy important. Hmm... Okay, I mean, we've got... We've got some items here. Alrighty, well... Um... Now the question is, what do we do? What do we do from here? I still don't have a map. This place is difficult to parse. I still don't know what this photo eidetic module is for. Um, hmm. Okay, I think I want to get back to that room uh, I was in before. Where's this other one at? I don't see them. Um, I think I want to get back to that room I was at before, with with uh, with the with the elephant boy, the elephant lad, if you will. I think I want to get back over there. Because, uh, um, I think there might be some cool things in there that maybe I missed. I mean, I guess I should check all the doors now, just in case some of them opened. No. Was this open before? Okay, this is just, this is just back to here. Yeah, okay. I don't think the ammonia thing would be used for the, like, funeral rite thing that we've been hinted at with this doll. I think it's like incense. I think that's why it's like hollowed out in the middle. Um, okay, and there's nowhere else to go here. Okay, let's be careful in here. Yeah, unfortunately you spawn like right here. Okay, so let's, uh, please don't charge me. Anything? Anything? I'm not really seeing much in this room. Okay, was kind of hoping there would be something, but, uh... It appears that no, there will not be anything. And yeah, this is a whole thing... Weird. Um... Hmm... Wait, you! Wait, you, you, no, I used it on you! No? Damn, because it says... Oh, okay, okay, there we go, you small bottle. Yeah, that's right, of course, I used it on you. Well, they, when they introduced the idea of a dreamer, someone that's stuck in a dreaming state, and, um, I need to, uh, like, wake them up to end the nightmare, the first thing I thought was waking them up. But yeah, no, it makes sense I use it on you. Use small bottle. Uh, is that all? Okay, it's gone. So that's what it was used for, so screw my idea. Screw my idea about waking the dreamer up and ending this nightmare. Okay. I wonder if that's like a choice. If you use it here, you can't use it on the dreamer to end the nightmare or something like that. But this way you get the gun, probably. Hey, Issa. Uh, uh, it's you, Elster, right? Thank you for your help. Did you find who you were looking for yet? Ah, oh, that rifle. I don't think I want to use it again. You can have it. I'm so exhausted. I feel sick. It's hard to breathe. The air in this place feels thick, like you could bite it. It's like there's fog inside my head. I think I need a moment to rest. Uh-huh. So, the rifle. That's a good-looking weapon right there. Achievements? 
Just got an achievement. A large bore double barreled hunting rifle. Fires armor piercing 16mm Nitro Express ammunition. The recoil feels strong enough to break your shoulder. Okay, that might be stronger than even the revolver. <laughs> um Yeah, this is armor piercing. This is just high power ammo. High recoil, high knockback. Yeah, I mean that feels very, very good. I'm glad I got that. Um Cool. Let's go ahead and hit up the save point after that. That feels like an important bit of progress. Okay. Okay. Anything else to say, Isa? No? We're done now? Yep, we're done. Okay. Uh, let's go just take a peek in this room again. The other thing I was going to try to do was use the thing on you. <laughs> but I think... I, it is interesting to me that you can walk back into that room and they don't just close it off, but... Alrighty, we are going to have to come back down here because we need to open this door at some point, but I need whatever that is. Whatever that is. Whatever that code is. I, I guess I'm going to have to figure out something with these doors now if I want to progress. Okay, yeah, and then this nightmare. I really wish you could walk across here, but you can't. It's blocked right here. So I can't go around this way behind this dork. I have to aggro them specifically, and then just circumvent them, like so. Unfortunate, but at least I don't really have to go through that room except for a few more times. Well, one more time probably, just to open that door. Okay, but now the question becomes, what do I do from here? I woke Issa up, but all that got me was the rifle. I still need to do something else in these rooms. And I didn't really get much else except for, like, the wedding ring. Which, I mean, it's fine, but doesn't really seem like it helps me that much. Yeah, and then here we just found out about the dreamer. Yeah, it is crazy to me. This door was closed. I swear this door was closed before. Hmm. I swear that door was closed. And then, yeah, there was all the hands reaching out for Issa as well. Which, uh, strikes me as interesting, because, I mean, that- The enemy that we fought definitely had some hands, but I don't feel like it had that many hands? I don't know. Strikes me as odd. Once again, just figuring- trying to figure out what in the world I'm supposed to be doing here. Get me through here. So, let's see if any of these things opened up. That's still closed. That's still closed. Unlocks from the other side. And then, yeah, this is just this room. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I'm a bit confused here. Wait, I do have an idea. I do have an idea. This, this is... This is quite the leap in logic here, I will say. So that- those monitors in there have a hexagon on them. I've had this in my inventory for a while. Yeah, let's get like the doll and everything else too. All- all of my like... items here. So inspect. The surface appears to be made of smooth, polished black marble or granite, but there is something soft and wet inside. Which is probably blood. Yeah, and then, uh, till death do us part is inscribed on the ring. Till death do us part. I wonder if I would put that in the part... Ooh, maybe. Maybe I use the wedding ring on the place where we see the, the like, burned body. Possibly? Um, let's try to combine some of these things. Combine. Can't combine these. Combine. Can't combine these. Yeah. Okay, I was like, maybe we can drain the blood into this or something. I don't know. I'm... Grassman Astral's here. So my next idea... This is a star. It's a hexagon. My frequency list was star... One of the frequencies? I don't think it was, right? Moon, sun, scales, rook, tree, sword. No. Hmm... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. 
I don't know. Okay, you can't use the wedding ring at this. I'm thinking like till death do us part. Well, you're 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 clearly dead. Um, I don't know. I thought it'd maybe be something. But no. Maybe maybe going back to that room towards the beginning that I'm really surprised how long you two have stayed dead. Uh, maybe going back to this room back towards the beginning here. It's clearly got to be something to do with these doors that I'm just not getting here. So this room. Um, lifeless replica bodies are laid on slabs. And if I go back here, yeah, it's just nothing. It's just a few bodies and stuff. Now, up here. So if I look in this room, yeah, small s cup filled with san uh, sand for placing offerings stands in front of the shrine. Can't use that here, can't use that here, yeah. Ancestral tablets are lined up against the wall, the names are illegible due to wear. Yeah, um, hmm. Alright, uh, I think we're just gonna have to end this episode off here. And I'm just gonna have to sit down and have a think about what we're supposed to do in preparation for next time because, uh, yeah, I'm very lost. Like, I, I feel like I should be able to open these doors right now, but I, uh, cannot quite grasp how to do so. So, yeah. Alrighty, well, let's just get back to our save point and see what we can do. I tried all of my weird, dumb puzzle solutions, and none of them seemed to work out, except for using the smelling salts on Isa, I guess, but... All that gave me was a gun, not a puzzle solution! So. Alrighty, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Signalis, and I'll see you next time for some more.